Hey guys, this is Rich with SUU Aviation, and today we're going to show you how to start our brand new Bell 505. Okay, we're going to walk through our pre-start checklist. Um, we're going to start out with our battery is coming on. And when our battery comes on, we're going to wait for our Garmin Avionics to start up on this G1000. Engine All right, our out. engine out, horn came on, we pushed our uh, mute button, then we're going to have four red lights, which are going to include engine oil pressure, fuel pressure, transmission pressure, engine out, uh, generator light, and weight on gear. On this side over here, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit continue because all of our database stuff was current. We're looking for exceedances on this page. There's no exceedances. So we'll go ahead and go to our weight page and we can enter our weight and balance information. So we're going to come in here, we're going to enter each person's weight and balance information, um, and then we're going to do a fuel on board sync, and it's going to show us exactly what our burn is going to be um, from a CG standpoint. Once that's good, we'll go to a confirm button. We're going to go to our test page. We're going to do our audio test. We're filling to make sure that the fan's working, and then we're listening for all of these individual audios. Fire. All of those sounded correct. The RPM light came on, and we'll hit the button one more time so it doesn't cycle again. Okay, once those are all done, we'll do a chip test and fire test. We're making sure that those both come up green here. They both did, and then they should go out again. Okay, those are out. We've done our audio test, chip test, fire test. All right, once those are back out, we'll move along. We're going to make sure that our anti-collision light's on, position light's off because we're in the daytime, pitot heat's off, generator's where we want it, landing light's in the off position. And then we're moving on to make sure our fuel gauge shows we have plenty of fuel, checking our outside air temperature. And then we're going to make sure collectors fold down and centered, cyclics are centered, rotors are clear. Clear! All right, battery voltage is at least 25.7. It's at 26.3, so we're good. All right, flight timer is going to get started. Start that, and then we're going to go to start. All right, at this point, we're going to keep our hand here just to monitor. We're going to watch our PSI, which is our power situation indicator. Make sure that it doesn't go too high. The FADEC does a phenomenal job of, of starting this aircraft for us. All right, coming up on 50% NG. Shortly after that, our start light will go out, which means our start sequence has finished. And it'll finish spooling up. We're gonna wait for our NP to stabilize at 63%, plus or minus one. All right, once it's stabilized there, which it is now, we can go ahead and flip our generator to the on position. We're going to check our voltage, make sure that it's 28 plus or minus 0.5. See that 28.2 right now. So that's good. All right, now we're going to come down to our initial hydraulic check, which is just off and then back on. We're filling for any uncommanded movement in the hydraulic system. Next step is we're just going to take our throttle and flip it from idle to fly. It should stabilize at 104% NR and NP, which it is. We're going to flip our hydraulic switch off again. We're going to do a four position, all four quadrants, make sure we're getting feedback forces up and down on the collective, same thing. Hydraulics will go back on. We'll make sure that those are all working well, which they are. All right, so we've completed all that. Engines run up. We don't need the pitot heat right now because it's warm outside. We did our hydraulics check. We are ready to fly. So we're gonna check our gauges one more time. We're green, green, plenty of fuel. PSI looks good. There's no alerts that should tell us that we should fly. So we are ready to go.
So that's how you start a Bell 505. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.